Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I have Lady here and as you can see my dolls are all dressed up and have a gift in their hand. So you know that because they're dressed up we have a new member to the family. So without further ado, let me introduce you to the new member of the AG Footprints family. Everyone, this is the newest member of the AG Footprints family. Her hair is up right now. I need to take it down. <laughs> so, um, I don't have a name for her yet, so if you guys have any names, comment below. And I haven't looked up her number yet either. So, if you know what number she is, totally comment that below. Otherwise, I'll just figure it out. But this dress, I don't think this dress is American Girl, actually. This is so cute, and I love it so much. A lot of the outfits she gave me came with duplicates, but a lot of them... Um, don't fit the dolls properly, so I'm going to be giving those away. And, and then she threw in three other 18-inch dolls. Whoa, I know. They're not American Girl dolls, but they are 18-inch dolls. And her hair, I just brushed her hair. I'm going to be fixing these up as well, but not in this video. So this is one of them. She's so cute. Her eyes are really, like bright. like, I think they look orange, but I think they're supposed to be brown. They are so adorable. She is so cute. She has the softest hair. Um, so I don't know if she's a Journey Girls doll or if she's an Our Generation doll. She's not an Our Generation doll. She's not a Journey Girls doll either. So her eyes do not close, so I have no clue what kind of doll she is. But she's really cute. And then we also got this girl here. She's adorable. I actually think I might keep her. I'm not sure. She's so adorable. Oh my gosh. And so we got these two. Look at her face. Oh, look at that face. Oh my gosh. So cute. And we also got this beautiful girl here. Her eyes do close. She has the sleepy eyes. She is so adorable. I have not brushed her hair yet, but if her hair... If she did not have strong hair, and if she had wigged, if she has, if she had a wig, I would totally keep this wig because, like, this is so gorgeous. Her hair is so gorgeous. Omg. Oh, so yeah, I'm going to be selling her as well as the brown haired doll, and I'm not sure if I'm going to sell this one yet or not because she's really cute. But most likely I will. So if you're interested in any of these dolls, um, comment below, and I will. Comment below your email or whatever, and I will contact you. Sit down, lady. Stay in my video. And you can obviously tell this video is going to be really long because you know me. You guys know me, and I like to talk. Um, let's get into it. So I'm going to show you the thing, things that are wrong with her. Obviously, her hair, but that's not a big deal. I must say her hair is actually in really good condition. Like, it's still super silky and soft. Um, she has this... All, oh, sorry, pardon her, pardon her, her booty. Girl, keep your underwear on. Okay, so she has all these white marks, these scratch marks on her legs, and these usually do come off with a magic eraser, which I bought a ton of magic erasers, because last time, like, oh my gosh, you just can never have enough magic erasers. So she has all these scratch marks. She has some on her arms. Um, pardon the lawnmower, my dad is mowing the lawn. She has a mark on her chin and this, like, sparkly glitter on her face. She has feathered eyebrows. That is really cool. Now, April's not the only girl with feathered eyebrows. Yay, April's really excited. And her stamp, you can't see it in this dress, but it is an Ameri normal American girl stamp. Like the new, like the Truly Me dolls have the stamp it's not pleasant company or american girl llc it's just american girl so that's cool her tag said 2011 she still has her neck strings and everything so today what we're going to be doing is obviously giving her a good clean down i don't know if i'm going to wash her hair or not i don't think i will but obviously i'm going to be brushing it and i will be tightening her limbs now for tightening her limbs i'm not going to show the process of it because um, I don't want this video to be any longer than it already is. So I'm not going to record it at all. I'm just going to do them and 
back. If you want to see a tutorial on how to tighten your limbs, go to my Fixing Up Ava video. There's a tutorial, like, embedded in there. And there's also, like, wash your hair tutorial in there and stuff. So, so let's get into it. Lady, are you ready? Are you ready, lady? Are you ready? Are you so the first thing I'm going to be doing is taking her out of this gorgeous dress that I put her in and giving her a good scrub down and trying to get these markings off of her legs. So I'm going to cut off a little section so it's a smaller piece. And what I'm going to do is if you have never used a magic eraser before, basically what you do is you just spray it with water and it activates it. Ah, I wish I could find my doll towel, but I don't know where it is. So hopefully this is going to come off. Yeah, it's coming off, as always. So I'm going to finish getting this off, and I'll be back. Now for her face. She has these black scratches on her eyelid. Let's see if I can show them to you. Yeah, they're right there. And she also has, like, this weird gluey, glittery texture to her. And this mark on her chin. And there's something inside her face right there. And something right there. And, oh, by the way, her ears are pierced. Yeah, I got some earrings too. So it was a good day for me. Um, this is her stamp, if anybody wants to know. But, so yeah, now I'm going to be getting all of this stuff off of her gorgeous face. And I will be back. So what I'm doing to get the little scratches off of her eye is I took a really, really little piece of the magic eraser and I got it wet. And I am ever so gently, because I don't want to get her eye wet, just getting the top of the lid a little wet and then taking a toothpick and rubbing off these scratches and I must say it's very time consuming but it's getting the job done and it's getting it done without harming the doll and then to dry it off what I'm doing is I'm taking the end of the dry like the dry side of the magic eraser and just dabbing it off with the dry side because I can't seem to find my towel at the moment. So yeah, that's what I'm doing, and I'll be back when I've gotten all of this off. So this is what I got off the eyelid. It doesn't look like it's showing up on camera, but there's still a few like small black marks there. But I'm still really proud of how much I got off. So we're going to move on. So now I'm going to be tightening her limbs, and if... You want to see a tutorial of how to do this, like unstuffing her and taking her head off or whatever, go check out Fixing Up Ava and there's a tutorial embedded in there. So now, without further ado, let's get started. Well, I'm, I'll be right back. Oh, I'll just show you a quick little before um, how loose her limbs are. So, stray them up and they just fall down. And her arms aren't that bad, but I'm going to tighten them anyway. But her legs, like, yeah. Just, 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 just so you know. Now I'm going to, now I'll be back. During the process, basically when you're done, all of your limbs, including the legs, should look something like this. Hey guys, I'm back, and I tightened her limbs, so now they don't move Yay. Well, this one. Yay. She's all tight. And now I put her head back on, and I did really good with her head. I'm just going to say that. Lady, what are you doing? Anyway, so I'm going to brush her hair, and I'll decide if I'm going to wash it. Like, when I'm done brushing it, I'll decide if I'm going to wash it or not. So, I'm going to go do that. So, her hair is all brushed and nice, and I don't think I'm going to wash it. 
it's really silky still and it's it has a nice touch to it so I don't think I'm gonna wash it but she has some flyaways as you can see I'm not really gonna do anything about that they don't really bother me that much but I found her part <laughs> and her hair is super shiny as my camera won't focus on it so she was actually in pretty good condition so now I'm going to be putting her back in to her clothes and yeah so everyone I think I'm going to be naming her Penny because her copper looking hair kind of reminds me like of a penny